Join Halo. Yes. Good job. As she learns to save lives in disasters. Good girl. And gets a little inspiration. From some of the most amazing four-legged heroes on Earth. It is a movie for any animal lover and anyone with compassion. Super Power Dogs IMAX film follows puppies as they grow up and learn to face the most dangerous circumstances, like venturing into an avalanche or the aftermath of an earthquake to find survivors. The director, Daniel Ferguson, is here with us this morning. Good morning to you, Daniel. Good morning, Britt. And I know that you're here for a Q&A over at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, which is where you can see the film. So thank you so much for stopping by. It's a pleasure. I love Denver. And, Good. Uh, it's a a fantastic theater, fantastic screen. I welcome people should come out and see it on a giant screen. We cannot wait. You know, just seeing the trailer alone evokes so much emotion and heart, and you see the relationship of the people with the dogs, and it's truly amazing what the dogs are capable of. So tell us a little bit about the film and what it is that these dogs do. Well, uh, it all started with this idea that maybe dogs have powers that we're, we can only dream of. Uh, powers to fight crime and save lives. Maybe dogs are the real superheroes. And it seemed like a gimmick at the time. And then as we started researching avalanche rescue, water rescue, uh, earthquake, as you mentioned, it's, it's the real deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing. And so I think to be able to see this larger than life, um, dogs who can tow 50 times their weight in the water and save people from drowning and dogs who are finding people buried under rubble or ice and snow and then the bond as you say with their handlers so we filmed this from helicopter you know it's it's really made as a superhero movie um, with dogs and they're real life dogs so the bond between the human handlers and their dogs you know saving people from whatever the disaster is is at the heart of this story and what types of dogs did you choose and why those six dogs well, I wanted a, di a diversity of dogs, and you know, I wanted the audience to travel around the world. You get to go to Kenya and meet these bloodhounds who are tracking poachers and bringing them to justice using their noses. Wow. We go to Italy, we meet these huge, shaggy Newfoundland dogs who are jumping out of boats, saving people from drowning. Uh, so it's, there's border collies, uh, there's labs, there's uh, a Dutch shepherd who's our main character. We follow her over three years, from eight weeks up until she takes her FEMA certification exam. Aww. And how long does it take for a dog to become certified? Depends on, on, on the job, really. It's usually a two to three year process. And these are usually volunteers. Uh, in the case of Halo, our main story, uh, it's for Florida Task Force. When they're out there training every weekend, they're training so hard just for that promise of being able to find someone when it most matters. As a director, did anything particularly surprise you about the dogs and what they do? All the time. I mean, I have to say, the emotion of it surprised me, the, how, how intuitive these dogs are. Mm -hmm. um, you know, dogs, I think anyone who loves dogs will know this, but even people who, who aren't dog lovers should come and see it. Uh, there's something at its core about our relationship with these animals mm -hmm. and the desire to do good, to affect the world in a positive way. It's a good news story, and I was totally inspired making the movie. You know, we need more of those good news do stories, we so we'll take it. Daniel, thank you so much, and for our viewers who are animal lovers or just want to see the movie, it is playing at Denver Museum of Nature and Science, so for more information, we'll have a link on our website, cbsdenver.com.